The day has finally arrived where African countries are recognized at the Miss Universe stage. Oh my gosh, three of the African countries made semi-finalists and I couldn't be more proud, okay? We're just going to talk about it, unpack it. I did say the day I'm going to see five of the top 16 or top 20 girls come from Africa is the day I'm going to like pop a lot of champagnes. We saw three this year, okay? Namibia, I did say after the prelim competition that hair was up, the legs were lagging, the dress, the bona, the presentation, everything was just doing what it's supposed to do. I said watch out for Namibia and I included her in my final top 20 predictions because there was no week. She was not going to make it. And she did. She was the quick one to be announced. They were like, Namibia! And I was like, oh, hell yeah. She seemed very shocked, but girl, you deserve it. Cameroon, I liked her, uh, her prelim gown, actually. But I did not know more much about her. So I kind of excluded her in my top 20. But needless to say, the judges included her. I excluded her, but the judges included her. And I couldn't be more proud. Like, guys, African ladies, they rock. We deserve a seat at the mother uh, table, okay? I'm so glad that Cameroon was called after... Namibia, a lot of people feel like, especially from other countries, they feel like in Africa, they must always watch out for South Africa. But really, you must always watch out for all the girls because they rock it. Last at no number 19, South Africa was called. We were on the edge of our seat because, guys, you can set the best representative at the Miss Universe competition and not place. Doesn't mean when you send a beautiful girl, they are all beautiful. That girl must stand out out of 84 women to be called. So I'm proud of my girl, Brayoni. She did very well at the Miss Universe.